third is going to be 420.25 and the next value is 33.5 squared is going to be equal to 1122.25 okay so now we've calculated we've calculated for this distribution the square distance that each, ob each observation is away from the mean value so we know that each one of these square distances, this, these distances that an observation is away from the mean, occurred f times. So that's why we're going to calculate the f times the x minus x bar squared values here. Okay, so the first value in here is going to be the f value, which is 4, multiplied by 992.25, 992.25 gives us a value of 3969. The next value is going to be 10 times 342.25 is going to be 3422.5. The next value is going to be 12 times 30.25 is going to give us 363. The next value is 14 times 56.25 times 56.25 is going to be 787.5. The next value is going to be 9 times 420.25, so it's 9 times 420.25, gives us a value of 3782.25. And the next value is going to be 3 times 1122.25, so that's 3 times 1122.25, gives us a value of 3366.75. Okay. So now that we have the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared values, we have each one of them calculated for each observation. So now what we do is we sum up this column. So this is going to be 3969 plus 3422.5 plus 363 plus 787.5 plus 3782.25 plus 3366.75 gives us a value of 15,691. This value here is the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared column. Okay, so now that we have each one of these values, okay, we have the numerator now for our variance calculation, and we also have the denominator, we can calculate the variance. So s squared is the symbol that we use for the variance the sample variance is, equal, is simply equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared column divided by the sum of the frequencies minus one so that's going to be equal to one five six nine one okay divided by 52 that's for the f minus one which gives us a value of uh, let's do that so we have one five oops I'll put that down here we have one five six nine one divided by well 52 minus 1 is 51 so divide that by 51 which gives us a value of 307.6 or 307.7 or let's say it's approximately equal to 308 okay going around so that's the variance. Now, the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation s is equal to the square root of the sum of the f column times the x minus the x bar squared column divided by the sum of the frequencies minus 1. So it's simply equal to the square root of 308. So let's do that. So the square root of 308 is simply equal to 17.54, or that's approximately equal to, it's approximately equal to 18. Okay, so what we're really saying here is this, is that a measure of center for our distribution, Facebook friends, okay, the number of Facebook friends that you have, okay, the measure of center for this distribution is 43, so on average the 52 people have 43 Facebook friends okay but what we know is that some of these people have less than 43 Facebook friends and some have more than 43 Facebook friends so what we're saying is that on average okay, 
a respondent is 18 Facebook friends away from the 43. And that's what the standard deviation represents. It represents the average distance that observations are away from the mean value. The variance, on the other hand, is the average squared distance that observations are away from the mean value. Okay, uh, well I hope that was helpful. Uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Thank you.